Now, your storm tracker weather with Chief Meteorologist Chicago Windler. It is a fine fall weekend behind our Friday cold front. Temperatures cool, but getting even chillier as we head into Sunday morning. Here's a look at your Saturday forecast. It doesn't get much better than this across central Texas. It is absolutely a stunner of a day. Low humidity, crisp, breezy winds out of the north. I guess the only complaint is, yeah, you've probably noticed it too, the pollen. I suspect the mold count was already high because of the recent rain. Ragweed probably went even higher, and who knows what other allergens have been swept in from North Texas courtesy of the latest cold front. But look at this. As of lunchtime, 70, sunny, stupendous. Honestly, I think the complaint department will be closed this weekend. It is fabulous. It is fall. By tomorrow morning, our coolest temperature since April. I'm forecasting 49 degrees, even in Austin. And while that's not going to be a record, boy, will it feel nice. Our next cold front now slated for Thursday. It looks like a weaker front and only isolated rain showers are expected. So honestly, it looks like we're just going to have a beautiful stretch of weather. Average high is 83, forecasting 75 for this afternoon, 76 for tomorrow afternoon. Both days, sunshine and high clouds. Tomorrow, the winds will be a lot lighter, so you'll get to enjoy that. Now, for the overnight tonight, I'm expecting 40s, around 49 in Austin. For the overnight tomorrow night, we'll probably see heading into early morning Monday, low temperatures into the upper 40s to low 50s. But two back-to-back -back nights into mornings with unseasonably cool air, more like November than October. As of midday, it's 66 in Mason, 66 in Fredericksburg, 69 in Bastrop, 70 degrees in Thorndale. Everyone enjoying the breeze. Still some gusts up around 26 miles per hour out at the airport, gusting around 21 miles per hour out in Fredericksburg. Big picture, well, cold front that pushed through yesterday has now made its way all the way to Louisiana and deep south Texas. High pressure continuing to roll in. And overnight tonight, as winds settle down, we will basically have all the ingredients in place for a chilly night. Well, here's the deal. Mainly clear skies, some high cloud cover possible. Light winds, check that box. Low humidity, yes, that is going to mean a cool, crisp start to your Sunday. Dew points are in the dry zone. We're down to 37 degrees for a dew point that is extremely comfortable air. Temperatures across the state, Amarillo woke up to 30s. There were some spots that froze this morning in the panhandle. It's up to 63 there, so just a beautiful afternoon underway. Overnight lows tonight into tomorrow morning, waking up to around 38 in Lubbock, 49 here in Austin. Austin, 62 in Brownsville, and then through your day on Sunday, high temperatures everywhere in the 70s, some 80s possible down toward the valley in Brownsville, 83 degrees. As for rain, we're going to keep those rain chances capped at zero all the way through midweek. Then that weak cold front pushing in on Thursday can't rule out a stray shower or storm Thursday, Friday, Saturday. But at this point, rain totals look meager at best, most areas picking up less than a tenth of an inch of rain. Now, in terms of temperatures, mid-70s for one more day tomorrow, then Monday we're up to around 80. We're going to start to feel the heat and maybe just a smidgen more humidity as we head toward Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday of this upcoming week. Looking ahead, the Long Range Outlook, October 24th through 30th, warmer than average conditions. As for rain, we might actually see a trend toward slightly wetter than average. Absolutely nothing going on in the tropics, neither in the Atlantic nor the Pacific. So this truly is a quiet weekend underway, not only in the Lone Star State, but across much of the United States. Here is your seven-day forecast. Mid-70s for today, tomorrow. Then as we head through next week, Monday, Tuesday, low 80s, still low humidity. By Wednesday, low temperatures in the 60s. You're going to start to notice a little bit more humid. Mid-80s for high temperatures that will be above average. The cold front pushing through on Thursday, and there you go with that meager 20% rain chance. And for now, I'm showing upper 70s on Friday. I might revise that and go low 80s because the front really does look pretty weak. All right, you're all caught up on the weather. Enjoy the rest of the weekend. Avery Tomasco will have your latest forecast later on on CBS Austin News.